Number 42. In earlier days, horses pull barges down canals in the manner shown in this figure over here. Suppose the horse pulls on the rope with a force of 7,900 newtons at an angle of 18 degrees to the direction of motion of the barge, which is headed straight along the positive direction of an x-axis. So we know that this direction is our x direction and let's say that upwards is our y direction. The mass of the barge is 9,500 kilograms and the magnitude of its acceleration is 0 0.12 meters per square second. What are the magnitude and direction of the force on the barge from the water? So let's draw the forces acting on the barge. We have only two different forces. To be exact, exact we have more forces like the forces of gravity but the force of gravity is not playing a role in this problem, so we are not going to draw the force of gravity. We have the force from the horse that we are going to call FH. And we also have the force from the water that we don't know where it points. It could point this direction, this direction, this direction. We don't know the direction that the force of the from the water on the, the barge uh, points. Okay, but we can try to find that force. Let's draw it like this. So let's try to find the force from the water. We can try to find FW from Newton's second law. Let's remember that Newton's second law is the sum of the forces is equal to mass times the acceleration. And we can rewrite this equation for each component separately. For example, for the x direction, we can rewrite as the sum of the forces in the x direction is equal to the mass times the acceleration in the x direction. As for the y direction, the sum of the forces in the y direction is equal to mass times the acceleration in the y direction. So in the x direction, we have the x component of FH. The x component of the force of the horse is equal to the magnitude of FH, which is this value over here, times the cosine of 12 degrees and the y component of the force from the horse is equal to FH times sine of the angle. So for the x direction we have that FH cosine of theta plus the force of the water in the x direction is equal to mass times the acceleration in the x direction. The force of the water times the sine of the angle plus the force of the water in the y direction is equal to mass times the acceleration in the y direction. From here we have the information that the barge goes straight along the positive direction of an x-axis. So the acceleration in the y direction is zero, so we, so we can cross out this term over here. Okay, so what are the things that we don't know in those equations? We don't know the x, the x component of the force from the water and the y component of the force from the water. So we can just isolate them and calculate it, their value. So for example, F W X. So let's send this to the other side. Is equal to mass times the acceleration in the x direction minus F H times the cosine of theta. So the mass of the barge is equal to 9,500. The acceleration is 0 0.12. The force from the horse, the magnitude of the force is equal to 7,900 times the cosine of 12 degrees. And this is equal to, let's see, this is equal to minus 6.4 times 10 to the third newtons. So let's let's isolate in this equation. So F W Y is equal to minus F H, the sine of the angle, and this is equal to minus 2.4 times 10 to the third newtons. Okay, so we have the components of the force of the water and we need the magnitude. So the magnitude of the force of the water 
is equal to the square root of each component squared so fwx squared plus fwy squared and this is equal to roughly 6.8 times 10 to the third newtons so this is the answer of letter a for letter b we want the angle let's call it alpha alpha is equal to the tangent to the minus one of the y component over the x component and this gives us two different two different answers it gives us 21 degrees and 2001 degrees and then we have to choose which one is the correct one so let's see 21 degrees is something like this and of course the water is not pointing this direction the water is pointing against the movement so it's probably 201 degrees or you can you could just see that the x component is negative and the y component is negative so the only quadrant that both the x and the y are negative are the third quadrant so this is the correct answer